Welcome back to Tuesdays with Paula. Thank you so much for joining me again. This morning we'll be talking about a couple of things. Um, will be the tenth chakra will be the main focus. And if you're scheduling your time this morning, I have my, my phone here, so today I'm going to make sure I keep it to 15 minutes just so that you know. And of course, you can always come in and check in later. But if you're scheduling to stay live with me, it's about 15 minutes now. So the main focus today will be our 10th chakra. And I wanted to mention also that uh, this week I'm attending an advanced um, staffing and a, an advanced rapid eye training. And most of you know, I'll introduce myself again briefly in case you weren't here last week. I'm Paula K. Bronte, a Master Rapid Eye Technician here in Salt Lake City. And this Facebook Live series is really about um, the magic of becoming more and all of who you are. And one of the ways that we do that is by talking about Rapid Eye Technology. And the guests that I'll have coming on will be talking about their own form of magic and their expertise. So I'm going to give you that list now so that you have some idea of what we have coming up. On February 28th, we'll have Kate Allen, who is a local actress and a phenomenal healer herself in terms of having learned so much about how true healing from um, a very painful past comes from the inside out. And she had the courage to, and the, the insight to pick and choose some very skilled helpers, people that really were honed in their craft to help her become who she's becoming. And it's very exciting. And she's also the host of the Kate Allen Show. So um, that is a radio show on KTOC. And she'll be with us on February 28th. It's pretty exciting. She's, she's quite a dynamic personality. And on March 3rd, I have the pleasure of sharing the time with Lynn Christian, who is the uh, owner of Soul Salt Incorporated. She is a phenomenal and highly, highly uh, respected business counselor and coach. And she will be with us and teach us some things about the power of focus and the power to really huge the, use the potential that we have, all of the, the huge parts of ourselves, to expand in whatever we choose as our life path. And if we're looking for our, our life path, she helps with that too. She's, she's a, quite a power of force. And then we have on, let's see, the seventh, Megan Silito who is also a Master Rapid Eye Technician. And she is now uh, quite a, a leader in the Access Consciousness movement. Um, access Consciousness is a very, very interesting form of personal um, magic, a way to really um, connect with more power than we even knew that we had. And I'm excited. Megan's lots of fun. She's probably the most fun uh, I've had with uh, another facilitator for a while. So I'm excited. She'll be here on the 7th of March. And then on the 20th of March, we have Lynn Manning, who co-authored the book Fit to Fat to Fit. And uh, she will be talking about how, how the body is so directly affected by the uh, emotional and mental and spiritual levels, and vice versa, the, the, how the mental and emotional and spiritual levels so innately affect our physical experience. You know, that's one of the reasons that um, Rapid Eye works so well, is because we're working on all four levels. The physical, the emotional, quantum physics tells us we begin at the physical, and a few feet out, there's an energetic field where, where we call it the emotional body, and then a few feet out, we have the mental body, and then the spiritual body, and that just repeats on. And when all four of those energetic fields are working together, really in tune, it's, uh, it's, quite, it's quite an amazing experience you get to really begin to understand why you're here. But so many of us are out of balance that way. And so that's why there's me and lots of people like me uh, working and playing on the planet now to help us get all four of those bodies working in sync. So anyway, Lynn's going to be helping us uh, understand that in a deeper way. And she will be with us on March 20th. So, so far that's the lineup. Okay, so before we get to the 10th chakra, Let's stop for just a moment and uh, talk a bit about rapid eye technology 
this training that's coming up um, uh, made me realize that it's a good opportunity to talk to some of you who have asked me about how to begin a profession in the healing arts. Because there are a lot of people now that are, are looking and, and, and examining, doing research on what's their niche, what, what calls to them as, as a healing profession. And I've had lots of people interview me about Rapid Eye. And I'm excited to say that Linnell Beckstrom, she is the daughter of the founder of Rapid Eye Technology, Renee, uh, Dr. Renee Johnson, is the woman who founded it. And by the way, if you call the Rapid Eye Institute, you will often have Renee herself answer the phone. You can't say that too much about, about established institutes these days. You get to speak with the founder herself. She's a, she's a walking miracle. And anyway, her daughter, Linnell Beckstrom, will be facilitating the advanced training that I'm staffing this week. So I thought, you know, it won't be a Tuesday, but it'd be a great opportunity to do a Facebook Live and, and have uh, someone uh, running the Institute, someone who ha has this rapid eye in her DNA, talking to you about it directly. So I'm not sure what day it's going to be. We have to kind of work it out with the training time. But Linnell and I will both be joining you and uh, talking to you about rapid eye technology. And those of you who do want to know more about it, um, for yourselves as, a, as to receive, and also if you're looking for a, a remarkable way to use the, the talents and skills and gifts that you know you have as a healer, um, I would take a serious look at the Rapid Eye Institute. Look at the training, the curriculum, uh, really move into your heart and ask if that is your path or part of your path. Because as I said last week, I have yet, in my 20 years in this, in the, in this field of energy medicine, I've yet to come across anything that hits the mark like Rapid Eye does, as quickly, as thoroughly, as cleanly. So, um, okay, now we're going to talk about the 10th chakra. But first, let's just take a moment and do some grounding because that's really what the 10th chakra is all about. So, close your eyes for just a moment. Take a nice big breath. Let your shoulders drop and your face relax. And set your focus. The next breath, just send your focus up above your head. Just beginning to feel it float above your head and moving up the ceiling, to the roof of the building you're in. Just like a balloon floating up into the sky, moving past the clouds, floating up now into the atmosphere, and beyond the atmosphere up into the cosmos. Now you feel like that balloon, that ball of light, is being pulled right to the center of the universe, our great central sun. Just connect for a moment to the great source of light and power. And now take a breath and breathe down because the great central sun only purpose is to give us light. So breathe that light from the great central sun right back down through the cosmos, through the atmosphere, down through the roof, that building right into the top of your head. And just feel that light pour right down through the center of your body, right down through your central channel. If there are any blocks on any of the chakras, this light just It dissolve. Now when this light hits your tailbone, as it pours down your legs and hits your feet, it begins to pour out, going down through the concrete in the building, and it hits the soil. And when this light hits the soil, it becomes roots. You begin to grow roots like a tree, growing deeper and deeper down into the earth. You can hear those roots scrunching and crunching through the soil. You can smell the soil as you go deeper and deeper, and you feel yourself being called now, like a mother calls her child to her, as Mother Earth pulls you into her heart, dropping right down into the very center of the earth, and wrapping yourself around the rock or the stone that's sitting there that belongs to you. It's holding your sacred space in the center of the earth. Wrap 
around that rock of stone. Notice the color, the size, the shape of that stone. It holds many messages and gifts for you. Now breathe back up through those roots. Breathe up through the earth and right back up through the bottoms of your feet, your legs, your tailbone, right up through your body, taking a breath. And breathing all of that light right out of the top of your head and just flying right back to the earth and the sun. With so much appreciation for this power, this life force that keeps us alive. And now one more breath and breathe that light right back down through the top of your head, through the center of your body, out of your tailbone, your feet, dropping right back down to the center of Mother Earth. Anchoring, grounding, focusing, relaxing. And now on this breath, we breathe up to just below your feet, about a foot and a half below your feet. We're just going to take a pause right there. So focusing your attention about a foot and a half below your feet. This is where the 10th chakra sits. And now it spins like a top. Remember the old-fashioned tops. Just imagine it spinning and spinning in a clockwise circle. It's opening as it spins. It spins off any of the mud, any of the blocks, anything dark or heavy that's there. And just allow this chakra to keep spinning. And when you're ready, you just breathe right up through your body, out of the top of your head. Back down again, maintain with this movement of light and energy beyond your own head. And when you're ready, open your eyes. I'm just saying hi to some of my friends. Thank you, friends. All right, so that tense chakra right there below your feet. And very few people even know it exists. Melanie Goblin and the Reverend L. Bestrom sister. Uh, I love her. And I, I, my mind has gone blank on her. She'll come to me. She's also one of the Rapid Eye instructors. And she has done a complete series of chakras for Rapid Eye. And she discovered the 10th chakra in the process of doing this. And it actually has turned out to be the single most important session that I do. Um, the chakras, by the way, in case you're not very familiar with them, they are centers of energy that keep our meridian system whole. So what's the meridian system? Meridians are pathways that run through our body that govern the energy. They're, they're much like the veins. So the, so the veins are to blood. Right? That's what the meridians are to our energy core. And the chakras are little wheels of energy within us that keep these meridians open and flowing. And uh, the different chakras govern different parts of the organs and different um, emotions and aspects of our bodies and development. And so focusing on the 10th chakra today really means focusing on learning how to be here fully. Right? We are beings of electricity. I believe I mentioned that last week. And, wow, that was a fast 13 minutes. Okay, and we're beings of electricity. And when we're not grounded, when we don't have that 10th chakra open and flowing, then we're like a live wire. If you've ever seen one, they just flail around trying to hook into everybody and everything. And that's what we do when we're not grounded. We just hook into other people's energy and we allow their energy to hook into ours. And we get very, very not clear. Um, don't know what's ours, don't know what somebody else's. And we, don't, we really don't recognize ourselves. And um, that 10th chakra has to do a lot with your soul's purpose, your life purpose, why you are here. If you're not grounded to the earth, to your source of electricity, it's hard to even know why you're here. It's kind of like a life. A light, light lamp is unplugged. It's not going to do its work. So the same thing. If we're unplugged, we're not going to we're not going to do what we intended to do when we came here. So the tenth chakra helps to keep us grounded, not only to to our source of light but also to our purpose for being here. And um, it also contains within it 
the most painful things we came here to experience. So there's a number of reasons why most of us are, are not connected to our 10th chakra. One is because who wants to deal with the most painful things we came here to process, right? The other is because we don't uh, walk barefoot on the earth anymore. Our ancestors were pretty grounded, pretty clear about what they were supposed to do here. Um, we unfortunately work uh, concrete, rubber shoes, uh, and we deal with all the EMFs, the electrical magnetic field, which um, very few people, although more and more now, are beginning to realize the detrimental effect that has on our ability to ground to our true source of who we are. So um, anyway, that 10th chakra, that's it. That was a quick introduction. But it's enough for you to work on over this next week, for you to play with and become aware of. In the morning, if you just take, you can even take half the time that I did and just sink right down there, connect with that foot and a half below your feet, see it open and spinning, breathe up light through the center of your body, and allow that 10th chakra to start bringing your chakra system into complete alignment so that you begin to be the joy and the light that you can be. Okay, that was it. Our time's up for today. I want to uh, thank you so much, again, for your attention and your time with me. And if you'd like to contact me, my website is in the blink dash of an eye.com. And you can also email me at in the blink 5 at gmail.com. You can send me a Facebook message. Doesn't matter. How you, how you get me, just get me. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. Bless you. And happy Valentine's Day. I didn't mention this is the day of, of love. In my, in my opinion, every day is the day of love, but it is a special day to give that attention. And you know what? The more that 10th chakra is open and moving, the more your heart's open, 